Hello, everyone. Uh, we'll get to streaming here in a second. I'm doing a really late night stream because I just woke up. And I want to finally get off my chest the Long U Comic Con and what I experienced there. As the first day was a lot of fun and engaging a lot of people. It was just day one and I could not be more thankful. I also want to talk about the Comic Cons that I was a part of in the past. And compare them to the one I was just at. As I feel this one was more limited, but it still had the same spirit. Allow me to bring up the searches of these past events that I was a part of. As I felt that the one that I was currently at was unjustly limited. And it will take a few minutes. To do all these searches. I have been a part of three of these conventions. From 2017. 2018. And just recently... Uh, Two thousand and twenty four. As there's a lot I need to go over. Now, a lot of these conventions can be found at one place. that I've been to, one town. I just found out I wasn't at 2017. It was 2019. Ah! Light up. Okay, hold on. Like, no, nah, now I remember it. So it was 2018, 2019. Got it. And the 2019. 
It's gone. Still trying to find it. Hold on. Still deleted. The live stream will begin shortly. Uh, holy crud. Because, like, now this is a little concerning. Now, just a bit, though, just a bit. Nope, that's the journal. Oh no, that is not what I'm looking for. No, that was a trap. It was a trap. That was not the wave back machine, Milky. Mm hmm. Texas Book Festival is guess what I should be looking at. No, that's not that's the book festival, not the Comic Con. No. Oh boy. We'll get to the mainstream here in the moment. In a moment, in a moment, in a moment. Why are there so many searches for the long you Comic Con 2019? Nip. Did they really destroy 2019 Long You Comic Con? On um, history, mother fricker. That's not the one I was looking for. It wasn't 2019, it's 2018. Let's uh, search up the images of 2018. 2017 lineup. The 
2017 lineup is gone. Wow. They completely destroyed it. It's gone. I... Wow. Just, just... I am surprised. Maybe it was to protect Jason David Frank and his fans. I can understand that. I can understand that. He was a good man. Good, good man. The world misses you, Tommy. The world misses you. We all miss you. You're a good man. You're a good man, and you did nothing wrong. All I can do is bring up 2019 and the one, 2018 and the one I was actually a part of, of image searches of who appeared. Sadly, as I cannot find anything else on the subject. They have completely white. Jason David Frank threat. I do not blame them. I do not blame them whatsoever. They're doing what they had to do. Uh, we're going to the live scene here. Let's start off with the 2019. And three, two, one, just chatting. Hello, everyone. So we got several things to talk about. Uh, it, it seems 2017 or 18 is gone. Uh, there was Jason David Frank. Um, it has been wiped from the record books for his protection. And his family. And I respect it. So let's go on with this. This was the Longview Comic Con on July 15th. I remember this one all too well. It was a lot of fun. John Moran, J. Austin St. John, Tiffany Balmer, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, hey oh, were there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, the convention hall was bigger. It had a lot more to it. It had a lot more guests. It had a lot more people. Sadly, this would be the last one I would visit until just recently. This Comic-Con was a lot of fun. I had Austin St. John here sign a Red Dinosaur Coins. With Tiffany Vollmer, I actually did a Master Roshi voice. She laughed. She said that was pretty good. I did well in a way. James's voice sent me out with Rachel Lillis. She giggled. And then I w did with uh, Jesse, doing uh, with the actor of Jesse slash Missy, with James like. Please uh, allow me to regale the voice for a moment. 
Jealousy? Do you mind if I have this dance? And she did it in the Jesse voice, basically telling me, James, we're not even that close. And I laughed at that, and I just said, thank you so much for playing off of it. She had a good spirit, Rachel Lillis did. Hacksaw Jim Duggan, great man, great funny man, a good individual. I said, hey, can I hold your, your uh, piece of timber? He said, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to uh, literally just over all wielded like a buster sword for a minute. And I swung it around like a buster sword in a circle, and it was a lot of fun. And he said, heck yeah. Now that's something else. Uh, Zordon. Oh, I did my best alpha impression. He said, you're definitely my alpha now. As I will regale the impression. Aye, 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 aye. Zordon, what's that in the viewing globe? He said, I can be Alpha 9 from time to time. The guy really had a good energy. Uh, David Albrum and Jason Morton. Uh, Jason Morton was a really nice guy. I felt that he was a little on edge. Uh, David Albrum, though... Ugh. Guy was a class act. I didn't know much about this actor, but I still appreciated it. But gave him mad credit. Chuck Huber. Good man, good entertainer. I did my best pee along. He was like, and again, pee along's voice. Well. You shouldn't overall try to imitate your lord and savior. Next time, do your best to overall not tick me off. Or I'll have me and she overall show you a bad time. I said, oh, I'll make sure to show she a bad time. Right, but May, mm, I'll show her a good time. He laughed it off in Pilong's voice. <laughs> And it was so cool, all right? Like, holy heck. Uh, Mick, London McDonald. Didn't get to see him. He was the next day. Uh, Jeremy Clark. Guy was a pretty good comic book guy. He was a, you get a real prideful comic book nerd from him. You gotta love him. Um, I didn't take Ace in the cosplays, sadly. But I did speak to Little Miss Cosplay, and she was so adorable. She was, I think she was wearing an Overwatch outfit of uh, Mercy, and oh, no, that Mercy could show Mercy on me any day. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotta love the puns. But, uh, yeah. If anything, uh, I remember Mr. Meg, I think. Uh, I approached her, and she was in this outfit, too. I said, so, are you going to cut me up with your voice or with those nails? She was like, whichever you would want, my tidy little mortal morsel. And <laughs> I loved that. Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. she knows how to play the role of Mortal Kombat, okay? I'm like... When she's in cosplay, she's got that spirit. Um, let's go to the one I was currently at. So, I, he's coming tomorrow, uh, today, actually, at the time of this recording of uh, this live stream. It is the 5th of May, 2024, at 3 a.m. in the morning. So, didn't get to meet Kevin Coderidge or Ashley Nicholas. Uh, these three will probably be appearing today. But these three were there. Let's talk about Kevin Sorbos. Now, I met him. And we were galed about working out. I told him, like, oh, how I lost around 330 pounds to what I am right now. And he goes, like, how long did that take? And how did you lose it? I said, I took a dangerous turn. I, uh separated myself from my medications as they were causing a massive amount of weight on my body. 
He said what they were for. I said mental disabilities. He goes, that's not okay. Um, you shouldn't have done that even to lose weight. And I said, yeah, I know, but I wanted to get in better shape. Uh, I ended up losing around, just around 70 pounds from that. He said, okay, but the, you're insinuating you lost more. I said, yeah, it took me nine months for that. Over the past few months, I fluctuated from somewhere around uh, 260 to 271 or 77 throughout the months. I recently got out on my own um, and I uh, I am taking more healthier medication. I still got to get with my doctor because he assigned me a medicine that increases weight gain again and I'm going to have to scold him for it. I told him that and he said, well at least you're trying to go with medication that causes less weight. Thank you. Thank you. And I said, I've been walking around ever since for about two months, and I told him what has happened in my life with my father, and um, man looked at me and said, I'm so sorry for all that that happened. I'm sorry I told you this. He said, no, sometimes we just need someone to talk to. Mr. Sorbos was kind and passionate. I then told him, since the past two months, I have lost from uh, 263 pounds, and I'm now at 250 pounds from all the walking I've been doing in the city I'm staying in. He goes, that's freaking wonderful. Now, that's the right way to do it. I said, I've also been hitting the Power Crunch gym. Uh, What? I'm waking up the neighbors at this time. Hold on. I'm going to have to. I don't think I woke up the neighbors. I think something happened. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about this. Um, Kevin Sorbo's was really kind and passionate. I really got to control my voice. I get very passionate. Uh, I then regaled him with my voice acting of Alucard, various other characters. It was a kind and passionate individual. I loved him for his understanding of what I've been going through is priceless. Even Paul St. Peter heard me. This guy is voiced uh, Leomon, Wormmon, and various other anime and cartoon characters. Really good man, really passionate, really kind. Uh, he also heard my voice acting. He also did Sorbo and Dragon Ball All Super, and he was a really good individual. Uh, Lizzie Freeman was just getting set up right next to him. I didn't get to see her. I wanted to. But for the sake of time and effort, I was already there two hours, and I had a just about a two hour back walk back to my hotel. So that was the thing. All of this. This experience was something else. The Longview Comic Con was special. From these three individuals that had alone. Um I got a glimpse of, and two of them I talked to. I also talked with the artist of Animaniacs. He is not here, but he was there. He created the original art for the Rugrats, Animaniacs, Sonic, uh, Cart, uh, 
like little kid cartoon, not the Saturday Eo Dark AM cartoon. I also got pictures as I'm going to bring up the photo album. So this guy was doing Mario. I loved his energy. He definitely gave up Mario vibes. And I did my best Mario. This picture is blurred because my hand was shaking in excitement. Uh, this is Krillin. This guy was cosplaying as Krillin from Dragon Ball slash Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball in a way GT and Super, along with the movies. Krillin will always be the strongest human, and I can respect people that cosplay as Krillin. As a lot of people can do Goku and Vegeta, but it takes a real man of a cosplayer to do Krillin. He may be small, but he is large in spirit and human pride. Ah. This one. Mercenary to mercenary, side to side. I loved this man. He definitely gave off good bounty hunter slash mercenary vibes. We were just loving it. Now, the Mario didn't take a uh, photo. Neither did the Krillin. But he did. He went with the one with uh, the mercenary outfit I'm currently wearing. Love him for it. This guy right here. Dressed up as Jujutsu Kaisen's. One of their sorcerers. Guy definitely gave off the vibes of it too. Loved him for it. For me, it was an experience. We both had our glasses on. We were both just being absolute hams. Of individuals. Oh, this little sweetie. Look at that grin. You gotta love her for it, too. She definitely gave off that Chainsaw Man vibes with this cosplay. She had a little bunny rabbit, too. Oh, I love it, okay? Like, things like this is so priceless and adorable when you experience them. She ended up taking one of the photos with the... <laughs> Uh, Komodo, uh, Lion Komodo outfit of mine. This guy cosplaying as Roland Ozoro, and he had a best friend that took the photo with us. Uh, with my cell phone. I freaking love this. As, yeah, he just got these two swords from a stall previously, and he had this one more. Now, I had my gun blade on my side. I love this. He ended up taking the Komodo. The other one took the, uh, one with the mercenary outfit. These individuals, absolutely awesome. Oh, here we go. Letting the beast loose. Oh, look at these people now. These outfits cost a lot. Even for what they accomplish. The heads alone can go somewhere around over $700. The gloves can go somewhere around $200. $300 of how much detail they put into them. Look what they did. The tails can go somewhere around, almost around the same price of $300 to $400. These people actually put a lot of hard work into their outfits. And that's why I let the beast lose. Yeah, I absolutely loved just engaging these individuals. And they really didn't speak much. They nodded their heads and even more so, like, we did, like, high fives. They had such a good feel to them, with such a good energy, and they were just adorable and priceless. I loved it. I, ooh, this one here. This one here, that mask can spin. Um, didn't know that. Lady asked, hey, do you want me to spin the head around so the right side up? I said, nah, nah, that's fine, babe. That's fine. Keep it the way it is. It'll be priceless. <laughs> and she laughed and nodded her head. You could tell she was laughing underneath the hat, the mask. Sadly, you can't hear it or see it. She was having such a blast, and so was I. Uh, next, this is the one... Me, Tatar. Interesting little story. She, uh, this person ended up taking the, one of the Komodos as well. 
Uh, this one took uh, one of the Komodos in for their friend, um, obviously one of the combat outfits. This one, like I said, same thing. Those were the two high points of the photos I had. The lion Komodo and the, the um, regular outfit I'm wearing right now. Uh, the one with the battle scars was really overlooked. But there was a few stall vendors that took them. And they loved it. Yeah, this is something else. This person has also joined my public Discord absolutely free. They've even uh, volunteered to uh, modify it a bit. And I'm thinking on it. I'm thinking on it. Because, like, they do this for a living. And uh, handle discords. And I'm thinking about it. But I don't want to take things away from my moderator, at least. that currently supposed to be watching the Discord, but I'm thinking about it with this one. Now, as it'll help my moderator, you know, not constantly have to be on his toes. As he can relax and be more of a special guest. Interesting little story. When we first met, I said, Chara, Chara, I've been a good man. Don't stab me. Don't stab me. Don't stab me, stab me. <laughs> Played like she was good played like that she was gonna stab me and I loved it oh uh, this guy was one of the vendors he's gonna set the world on fire with that hair let alone with this sword I love this guy he got good energy uh, the Sun was in my eyes sadly as we were outside of the convention center and yeah rest in his fire or blade best or of Demon Slayer, rest at ease. Your spirit will never truly be forgotten. And that was it for the photos. This Longview Comic Con lacked the... space. And even more so, people got lost between the normal convention center and this smaller one. As it wasn't fully explained on the brochures where it was and what time they were supposed to be happening. I arrived two hours early, and luckily I got to talk with the convention staff about the uh, photos I wanted to hand out for free. They were like, yeah, you can, but don't force them on people. I asked them, hey, you want a, you know, little photo of my VTuber channel, or oh, my VTuber, with all the information. They go, yeah, sure, holy heck, you're a VTuber? Never would have guessed. <laughs> they gave me that energy and I loved it I loved these people this is my generation right here at their finest I was sitting in there for two hours as they were setting up and it took a while for them to finally get to me um, at first I was dealing with the second in command handling the convention center an artist and even more so Oh, the second in the command in the center, she's like, hey, I understand, you're an artist too, you do your own thing. Um, my boss is the one that calls the shots. It took him about an hour and 43 minutes for him to finally get to me. We talked, he told me not to force it upon people, but I can mention it if they want it. And, yeah. Among, among the three portfolio Photos I had printed of 24 of. The Lion Komodo is what got passed out the most. The uh, certain outfit you see here was the second. And the one with the battle scars was the least. So, this convention did not have the massive space of the previous two I've been a part of. But it does have the massive feel of it. It had the spirit it had the energy, it had the feel of the previous conventions in the air. Yes, it was smaller, and it was a crime. But, it still had the spirit. From everyone I met and engaged, to even Mr. Sorbos and the Sorbos experience there, that I only paid the $22 ticket, but it was worth it. If I got the $90, I would have got the Kevin Sorbo experience, but I didn't have that type of money this time. 
Maybe next time. I do want to be a special guest at conventions one day, as I feel it will be very important for my VTuber and or brand. Of VTubing. I wish to mention I know there's individuals that are stream sniping me from YouTube and making fun of my creative endeavors, editing capabilities, and even more than that. To them, I wish to humbly say, stop. You're only hurting your own image and mine. You're not doing anything worthwhile doing this. You're only causing more damage. I am moving on. Stop doing this from YouTube. This has happened before on Twitch.tv, and YouTube got sued by Twitch.tv. If I have to contact Twitch.tv and their current CEO to deal with this, YouTube, yet again, will be dealing with a lawsuit from Twitch.tv. This should not be accepted. I should not need to play copyrighted music to keep these individuals away. But if they keep doing this, and I know they've been doing this, I will have to play copyrighted music again until they finally stop. This should not be okay. It should not be a part of the norm. But it is happening. To the individuals that are doing this, stop it. You're only going to get YouTube and lawsuit trouble with Twitch.tv if I report it. The evidence and my findings. I know who you are. I know why you're laughing. And it's not funny. I put a lot of hard work and dedication into everything I do. And for y'all to do what you're doing is disgusting, horrible, and be on, on criminalistic online. Next, I want to mention the VTubing community. This is nothing bad on their part, it's mine. My unique brand of humor has come off disingenuous and at times. <sighs> <clears throat> advancing is how I should gently put it. I'm becoming the 40-year-old virgin. I am currently one year and four months, two weeks and three days from becoming the next 40-year-old virgin. It has been over. Just about 80 years since one of these things has existed. For me, I've been doing it to save it for Mrs. Wright. I do not expect y'all to understand why I do this. But I do this not only for the sake of my one true love, but for myself. On a brighter note, I'm finally working on a script of my first rehabilitation episode. Commander Devin Lionheart rehabilitates Commander Starstream. As I will leave y'all with this impression. Well, from one commander to another, I can see your point. Maybe I was a bit robust with that of Lord Megatron's leadership, and maybe I should have been more supportive. When do you think I can rejoin Cybertron and my fellow Cybertronians? I will leave y'all with that. I will be f greatly re. -e Formatting the impression of Commander Starscream from Transformers Prime, practicing the voice. As, yes, there will be a rehabilitation video of Commander Devin Lionheart interrogating or, or interviewing, really, 
Commander Starscream and his certain progress on rehabilitation. Uh, lastly, I want to mention the next brand, the next uh, story I'm going to be coming up with, including Final Fantasy's story I'm making. It is how Leon and Rhinoa tied the knot. How they finally got engaged. This will make great sense. And even more so. Fit within the actual Final Fantasy universe of 8. I'm, well, the Final Fantasy universe in general. As it's all one universe according to Square Enix. If you don't believe me, go to Final Fantasy Tactics. They do great work on the history and lore of Final Fantasy weapons, characters, summons, monsters, etc., etc., etc. I cannot give them more mad respect. I've learned things that I normally didn't know, but a lot of them I still do. As far as that, I know the, pol the attack on Snow Village was a horrendously received, as it relied to normal sound effects as I did it with my voice, and even more so, not a lot of people get the point I was making. So I will be remastering that episode in the near future, as a more of a as er arted episode, or better known as a, a VAM, Virtual Animated Novel. I will be focusing on that as well. Uh, thank y'all so much for joining me on this live stream and finally witnessing what I had to mention. To everyone that I met at the convention here and in 2018, thank y'all so much. Y'all reignited the small flickering ember into a glorious passion once again of an inferno. I cannot be more thankful. And to my future co-host, I only wish the best to you in getting here. I've done what I could on my end to send your direction. I cannot send any more. I have expended all of my resources to do so. Even if they are quite limited. The rest is up to you. Your friend is injured, and she's not handing over her the money I sent you because of it. I will wait with bated breath and even more so enduring patience. <sighs> Until we meet again, everyone. And to that of my future co-host, my glorious Dragon Blossom, as I am her Lion Muffin. I shall wait. In at least two months for you to find a way down here. Two months, no more. No sooner, no later. I've done what I can on my end. Now it's your turn. I will be cutting off communications of this live stream for now. Thank y'all so much for joining me here tonight. As the morning is coming, I just woke up a little while ago. I want to succeed. I want to excel. I want to be a better content creator and even more so of an entertainer. I cannot change what has happened. And mere words alone can never repair the damage that has been done between me and this content creator. Apologies fix nothing. They only make you feel better, if only for the moment. And then it's gone. I'd rather put my energy to more or something. 
efficient and more constructive that will have more of a better feel. Apologies do not fix what has happened. Rather, it was a bot account or not. I do not care anymore. Rather, it was you or not. I do not care. I am moving on. To everyone out there, thank you for joining me here today. This is Commander Devin Lionheart going offline and cutting communications for now.